no way through here. I might surprise you. I might surprise you.
the magna of illusion. Stories tell of a giant who carved the bones of her father to make its pipes. I really don't care. You're Merthin, right? Achora sent me to fetch you. What is it this time? Does His Majesty need his skirts held whilst he performs his ablutions? The whole purpose of having him vow never to enter Skirwood was that I might enjoy a moment's solitude away from the affairs of the realm. Ah, very annoying, I'm sure. Come on, let's get going, old man. It is fortunate for the Ulfung that Mirthin spends so little time among men, else the Warwolf's brusque manner would have offended him. Besides, there were more pressing matters to attend to. The siege of Caer Leon was about to begin. What crisis requires that you take me from the shores of our land, O King of Albion? <sighs> Guinevere took my castle. We cannot retake it without your aid. Of course, of course. And these troglodytes will be a great help with that, I suppose. Troglodytes? I don't know what that means, but you'd be wise not to enrage your king's allies, old man. Oh, sincere apologies. I'm sure my king greatly values the assistance of your clearly magnificent civilization, with your wooden huts and such. <sighs> you are very fortunate that I like to fight more than I like to talk, old man. Let's go get your king's castle back from his girlfriend. Our doom is sealed if we do not aid the Knights of Vanir in reclaiming their fortress from Bellatrix's treachery. They say the castle walls at Caer Leon cannot fall while Merthin lives. But my old friend has a trick or two up his sleeve, no doubt. This day we reclaim our castle from our traitorous queen. Never mind the speeches. Let's just smash the gate and get in there. <sighs> wait, wait. We must plan our attack carefully. It is no use reasoning with him, my king. Let this warrior of the Aesir flex his muscles on our behalf. <sighs> well, go on then. You wanted to make a big show of it. In the name of the Thunder God! Beat me! Oh. 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 
We must press on, over the bridge to the castle battlements, and begin the siege. No, my king. Let us clear the path to my cave first. I must summon great magic if we are to prevail. I do all the work while he sits on his ass. Outstanding. I knew I could trust you with this task. I must summon the worm's breath, or we will never be able to enter the keep. But first, I must tell you something important. Make it quick, old man. We're in the middle of a battle. If you slay Guinevere, Arturus will be devastated, and the battles to come will be far tougher if his morale fails us. Yet she loves him, even if she cannot admit it to herself. You might be able to use this knowledge to defeat her. Now go. I will begin to summon the worm's breath. Angels are funny! You need to get stronger. All is prepared in the cave. Then it is time to begin the siege. Lead on! Come <laughs> on! 
You are a worthy ally. The battlements are ours. Behold, the worm's breath. The gate cannot impede our entry now. Guinevere! It's over! Surrender! My name is Bellatrix, and I shall not yield while the power of Vanir flows within me. My knights serve the Vanir too. We should be allies, not enemies! You once gave me your heart, my king. Now I will make you regret it. Furantacor! Sustain me, but I still love him. I yield, Johan Slayer. Ker Lehon is yours. With Bellatrix's surrender, Arturus was released from her spell, and victory was won. But the strain of being bewitched was too much for the King of Albion who lapsed into a deep and troubled sleep. It was a bitter victory. Kelion was retaken, but without their king to lead them, the fate of Albion remained in the balance. We have reclaimed Kelion and captured Guinevere, but Arturus is in no state to lead us, and our enemies approach from all sides. The chieftain of the Ulfung is your ally. We shall prevail. I pray to the veneer that thou art correct. The giants will be here soon and the siege has cost us dearly. Grimnir of the Jagged Teeth leads an army of frost giants to the foot of the Weathfar. Why? 
the plane of souls. He seeks the moonhenge. The path to the eternal well is closed until it is awakened. He cannot be allowed to reach the moonhenge before us. It will take time for Yotan to make their way through the high peaks, and there is another path. You speak of the barrows of Eriri. It could be done. What are these barrows? We're talking underground tombs, right? Not wooden carts. Tis a dark and ancient path. Where restless souls trapped betwixt Midgard and Hell dwell. My chieftain slew Sigurd himself. He fears no Barrow White. Fine. I'll go to the Moonhenge and stop Grimnir. Do not be too hasty, child. We may have need of your talents elsewhere. No. He must be the one who confronts Grimnir. There is no other way. But the timing may be crucial. We must choose our moment. 